fact, it was uh, really not a big uh, trading day, uh, no big swings in fact. The Dow traded in the narrowest range in more than eight months today. The major averages ended mixed. The Dow closed just five points lower. A different story though at the S&P 500. It was up three points, just enough to extend the record-setting gains made on Friday following that stronger-than-expected April jobs report. And take a look at the NASDAQ, which rose 14 points today, and that landed it at a fresh 12-and-a-half-year high on the renewed strength of technology stocks like Apple, up nearly 2.5% today. But as Seema Modi tells us, Apple isn't the only big-name tech company helping drive this year's run-up in the markets. The Nasdaq is trading at levels we haven't seen since AOL bought Time Warner. That was in 2001. It's been a long road back. For the first three months of 2013, defensive sectors like healthcare and consumer staples led the S&P 500 and Dow Jones Industrial to new highs. However, as defensive stocks like Johnson & Johnson get more expensive, we're seeing this rotation of capital into cyclical sectors like technology, which makes up a large component of the Nasdaq composite. Now, better than expected earnings from technology corporations have also helped tech outperform. According to Thomson Reuters, of the tech companies that have reported thus far, 69% have beat their estimates. Lastly, the positive economic data from GDP to jobs, that's a big plus for tech. Analyst Brian Marshall at ISI Group telling me, if companies feel better about their business outlook, they will in turn hire more people, which ultimately should lead to more spending on IT. Among the tech stocks fueling the Nasdaq over the past month, Apple shares staging a major comeback, although shares still trading below its September 2012 high of 7.05 a share. Other Nasdaq winners include hard disk drive player Seagate Tech and biotech heavyweight Regeneron Pharmaceuticals. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Seema Modi.